Would you say the more organic the mesh is, the less likely I'd use ZModeler if I find myself not using it all that much, for example, Animal Mechs? Um, no, I still use ZModeler very much for organic stuff. What I'll do is I'll organically create an organic shape, and then I'll use ZeroMesher to figure out how the topology needs to work, and then I'll use ZModeler and Z Live Booleans on top of that. Uh, Chi Vang, let me show you that, is really good at that type of uh, workflow. So yeah, all this hard surface, this is all done in ZBrush, you know, making these organic shapes and then using live booleans to create that. This was all for uh, the beta for ZBrush 4R8. So all of this stuff here is very similar. It's a lot of Z modeler, uh, but it's also, you know, DynaMesh and then ZRemesher as well to arrive at stuff like this. So very organic, but also super hard surface. And you're using ZRemesher and you're using live boolean to make organic mech stuff. And you can, and it's still a lot of ZModeler work. And of course, stuff like Mesh Fusion, uh, stuff like that. Because ZBrush does have Mesh Fusion functionality here. So if we go into our cylinder again, make Poly Mesh 3D. And then uh, up here, let's say we're going to go inset flat island region. And we can do an inset here. And you know what? Let's just for fun, let's go to inset polygroup all region. And then I'm going to grab Q Mesh polygroup all. I'm just going to pop this up. And then we'll do like, We'll do a crease and then a crease polygroup. We'll hit D for dynamic subdivisions. We'll say crease level of three, smooth subdiv of four. And then we have this object. So let's say I want to put something complicated in here. So I'm going to say, I'm going to give myself a little border. So again, we'll do an insert, inset polygroup all here. And then I'm going to go out of edit mode, hit control N. And we're going to steal a brush. So I'm going to grab this poly star here. I'm going to go into my uh, brush, BI brush insert booleans here. I'm going to hit M. And I'm going to say, I like this little shape that uh, whoever did this. So I'm going to take this shape here. I'm going to hit W. And then as I cycle through these, uh, it'll, it'll cycle through these shapes. I'm going to be like, I like you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to steal this one. You can also, there's a Z plugin. You can say IMM extractor. You can IMM brush to subtools. It'll take all of these and extract all of those meshes to subtools. Um, but you can also just steal this one here. So I'm going to take this piece here. Yeah, that'll work. And I'm going to go ahead and say delete hidden. So this piece here, it has a hole in the back. So I'm going to hit brush, create insert mesh new. And I'm going to go back to my cylinder here. And uh, as long as I don't have DynaMesh turned on, I can drag on this polygroup here. So this one right here is this polygroup. I can drag right on that. And then I can control drag, control drag again. And it'll go ahead and fuse those together. It'll figure out what edge loops need to be added. And now this is one solid piece. So now if I go through here and run another crease tolerance, I can hit D for dynamic subdivisions. It's all like this. Alternatively, if you want to flip it, you can hold down Alt when you drag it out. It'll flip it underneath. Let's do that again. Like so. Control drag, control drag again. And then again, Mesh Fusion will figure out the hard stuff for you. And then you're good to go. So all of that's been modeled together for you. Um, you can do that on curved surfaces. If you're going to do it on a curved surface, obviously, when you're insert meshing a brush, Number one, you're going to need a polygroup. So however you, oops, let's do Shift-D. If you're ever working in ZBrush and it's like, whoa, my performance just tanked, do Shift-D. That's going to turn off dynamic subdivision. We'll get to that in a second. You can hit Control-W. And now when you drag this out, uh, you can have it resolve that, but it's going to do that kind of thing. You can even move it further away and it'll resolve as well. But also if you want it to conform to your surface of your object, you're going to want to, in this one, go to Modifiers. And we're going to do a projection strength up to 100. So as I drag this out, it's going to wrap to the surface of my object there. And then um, also, if you go in here and you go to geometry, turn off the smooth modifier, then it will, you can go through here and then you can just like smooth these transitions out. Let's turn off Sculptors Pro, like so. Now, if you want a nicer cut through this geometry, you can, you can try doing stuff like, let me hover over this. Let's do sphere eyes polygroup border, is that what it is? And you can kind of try and spherize into a circle, but of course it's on a curved surface, so that might not work really well. In this case here, what you can try to do also is you can slice a circle through here. You'd have to go through here and collapse and clean this up to make it optimal for sure. But in a pinch, you can also just kind of use that gross geometry and then have Mesh Fusion kind of fix it for you. So it's not ideal, it's not perfect, um, but you can kind of 
get that to work a little bit for you. And then we'll turn on dynamic and we'll run a crease poly group. So again, it's not perfect. You'll have to do a little bit of cleanup for this type of complex operation. Um, it'll probably work better on a sphere, honestly, but you get the idea. So anyway, mesh fusion functionality, um, dynamic subdivisions. Uh, the organic stuff would be stuff like if I want to do organic sculpting, if I have like a sphere here and I go to make poly mesh 3D and I go and I turn on next symmetry and I'm like, you can use panel loops for this kind of stuff. And I'm like, oh, let's do some organic mech like this shape here. And I'm going to go through here. And I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to slice you through here. That's cool. I'm going to isolate this one or we can, we can zero mesh it together. We can just say, go down into zero mesh. Uh, let's say half, keep groups, smooth groups on is fine. It's, it's organic, depth size down to zero. We can zero mesh these shapes here. And now we have these two shapes, so I can isolate this one. We'll go ahead and split hidden. And I'll say Q mesh, polygroup all, and we'll just pop this up. And then we'll say, oh, you know what? I want to run a bevel along here. So we'll bevel edge loop complete, like so. And then I'll go through here and I'll say Alt tap, Alt tap, Q mesh, polygroup all, pull down a little tabs here. I'll run a crease, turn on dynamic, smooth subdivision level of three, crease level of three, smooth subdivision of four. And then we got some organic hard surface going. And then we can go back and we can turn our other thing on. And then this one, we can, you know, Z modeler and smooth and add panels or do panel loops. If we want to, you know, go through here and then say geometry, edge loop. Let's do some panel loops, crank up that thickness. Oh, there's also uh, panel loop presets. So you can go into Z plugins, just download those and install them. We've gone over that before. Uh, earlier in the live stream yesterday, I believe. And then we can go down here to, do I not have it? Panel loop presets. So for example, we can take a uh, cube, make polymer 30, hit control D, control D, uh, just to give it, just to give us a little bit more resolution to work with. And I'm just gonna go here, we'll delete lower. So on this one, we can go through and we can slice panels through here and we go, hey, I want a preset. I like this one. So you can select it, say accept, and now you have this kind of cut and control shift a and now you've got a little box here Ta -da! and then on top of this this is where you can do your live boolean so if we go to sub tool here uh we go to let's actually go brush insert insert mesh boolean hit m it's like i want to put this little agreeable detail on it in x symmetry so we'll go through here with our x symmetry turned on and then i'm going to go to again split unmasked point shoots it below turn on subtractive turn on live boolean and now it's cutting all the way through because it's a thin mesh that's okay. So you can go through here. And if we want to thicken this mesh up, it's pretty easy with um, panel loops. So we can go through here. I'm going to say Control Shift, Control Shift A, split hidden, turn on polyframe here. Let's go into solo mode. And you can just inflate along the surface normals, Q mesh, poly group all. And you can just hold down Shift as your, oops, sorry, Q meshing. Seems to be, it might be too many polygons for this thing. Did I do poly group all or all polygons here? Poly group all. Let's do this. I'm going to isolate this, mask it, invert it, and we're going to do an inflate. So we can inflate along there, so we can thicken that up. And then in here, I'm going to isolate this, and we'll deflate it. Actually, are my normals flip? No, I'm fine. So now, if I turn off solo, we turn on transparency mode, we turn on light boolean. So now, we can boolean out these shapes here. Gives that a little bit of thickness to that shell here. And even these we can swap on the fly. So we're going to brush insert. Let's hit Q first. BI brush insert. Uh, Booleans. Like, I don't really like those. So again, hit W and just cycle through all these shapes and figure out which one you like. Maybe we want to go back and punch this little shape in. So we know you can punch this in here. And again, on this one, you can hit D for dynamic subdivisions, make it a little smoother. So very quickly, you can go through and Boolean that up. Uh, where to get the panel loop presets from? Gumroad links. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me show you that. So go to um, ZBrush Plugins, Download Center. And then down here, way down here. So up here is the new stuff. So this was what the uh, Z color we talked about. Uh, Metal Quotes Intersection Masker is all brand new. But way down here under the employee created, there is panel loops presets. So you can download that and install it, which we talked about.